This pertains to my visits to Northside Medical Associates, St. Vincent's Primary Care, Trussell, Alabama, 7201 Happy Hollow Road. This is located off of Deerfoot Parkway. I had several visits uh, to this uh, medical practice. They were on August 6, 2019, August 13, 2019, August 29, 2019, and those visits were with nurse uh, Frankie James Crum. In March, on the 3rd of the year 2020, I had another visit at this location with Nurse Celeste Richardson. Saw so the times that I went here, I complained of extreme neck pain. My neck felt like it was broken. And um, I had an MRI done in the same building. This was uh, with St. Vincent's Ambulatory Healthcare Network. That's what showed up on the bill. And uh, this image scan was analyzed by Michael Brant Ruff, MD, for St. Vincent's. And this came back with a uh, negative uh, normal result. They didn't see anything of note here. Yeah, and I have several pieces of paper with different titles uh, to the uh, facilities and businesses that I dealt with. They're located in this uh, 7201 Happy Hollow Road, Trustful, Alabama location. And I'll just give uh, some of these. So hopefully... Uh, you understand uh, what place uh, I'm talking about. Okay, the letterhead on uh, many sheets of paper that I've got from them, the records, it says Northside Medical Associates, Pell City location, 70 Plaza Drive, Pell City, Alabama, 35125-9314. I have a bill here that reads STV Primary Care East, LLC, P.O. Box 20418, Belfast, Maine 0491540099. I have a cover letter that reads AL Henry Medical Associates, INRI Medical Associates, 70 Plaza Drive, Pell City, Alabama, 35125-9314. So if you want to know about my experience with these nurses in this medical practice, please go see my other videos. I go into this in great detail. Uh, there's an hour plus video material on this. So after my March visit with Northside Medical Associates St. Vincent's Primary Care and Nurse Celeste Richardson, uh, I realized that uh, I needed to get a hold of my uh, medical records from this uh, establishment. I, uh, I had a good experience with uh, Nurse James Frankie Crum. Uh, he was very helpful to me. Uh, I was almost uh, dead by uh, the summer of 2019. I had a broken skull injury misdiagnosed, undiagnosed by St. Vincent's Hospital, Birmingham, Alabama, Ascension Health. I had uh, four scans there, x-ray, MRI, uh, CT scans. Uh, every time they said there was nothing wrong with me. Uh, they noted uh, some uh, arthritis, but uh, I knew they were wrong. I went and got my records from them examined them and I found that in this area where I had extreme pain I thought my neck was broken it wasn't my neck that was broken but it was my skull that was broken in the area of the occipital condyle and condylar canal and uh, this had gone mismanaged for a year it had become infected with uh, parasite worms and these all show up in the images as well please go see my other videos for this 
analysis and um, the evidence. So anyways, I went, uh, in March, I went back to this place. I saw Nurse Celeste Richardson, and uh, she came out, uh, you know, from the very start of our visit, uh, strong defensive, uh, trying to uh, convince me that, you know, the pain I was feeling, symptoms, and uh, my own beliefs uh, were totally misplaced, unfounded, uh, and I knew otherwise. And uh, I knew this for a fact. And uh, you don't believe me? Uh, I put up the pictures. Go check them out. And the uh, doctors of the world, please look at these and uh, and let uh, let this place know what you see there. Okay? I don't have anything to hide. So anyways, um, after a, a sour experience, with uh, Nurse Celeste Richardson in March, I realized I needed to get my um, documentation from this place. I requested all of my medical records from Northside Medical Associates St. Vincent's Primary Care in March 2020. And this uh, goes back to the other visits I had in uh, August 2019. Now, uh, they told me there uh, that they couldn't get my records that day, and that's a big red flag. Uh, because I've gotten my records from all these uh, doctors, establishments, uh, medical practices, hospitals that I've uh, gone to to seek treatment. And um, most always they will produce uh, records uh, on that day, uh, usually within a few minutes of the request. Uh, St. Vincent's Primary Care, Northside Medical Associates, they told me that it would take a few days to give my medical records. So, I finally got these records a few days later, and they appeared uh, edited. To learn more about uh, how I believe they were edited, I scanned the actual documents. You can see them for yourself, and they're in uh, some other videos regarding this place. These records, they were edited, and there's another thing. They are incomplete, and I'll explain how they're incomplete. When I went to Northside Medical Associates St. Vincent's Primary Care, on all these occasions where I paid $45 and saw these nurses, before I saw them, I went in, and uh, they had a um, preliminary interview and a, uh, another nurse examined me before I actually saw Celeste Richardson and James Frankie Crum. Now, uh, every time I went there, this was a different nurse, okay? So I've got uh, like four visits here. And each time I saw another nurse, which is, uh, this person is not named on any of these uh, documents, nor is uh their uh, recording of my symptoms. There's a field on these documents where you should be able to see the details that uh, I explained regarding my symptoms in detail. This should show up under chief complaint. And then below that you can see where the um, preliminary screening nurse took uh, all the uh, the vitals and uh, I mean how this works is okay I'm in the I'm in the waiting room in the main lobby area this nurse shows up at the she opens the door shows up calls my name calls me back into this preliminary screening room my weights uh, taken temperature things like that and uh, it was a woman every time almost every time they asked me you know well, what's wrong with you why are you here and then I would go into a uh, um, a detailed description. The whole time I'm uh, describing this, you know, I note that uh, they are recording this down. Okay? They have computers, they have uh, paper there. They're taking notes, all right? Now, when I went and got my records in March from all these visits, this preliminary 
examination by these nurses is not included in there. And, uh, you know, this is uh, really troubling. It substantiates uh, the injury. And it substantiates symptoms uh, that, you know, I found out uh, St. Vincent's Hospital uh, was trying to uh, steer me away from uh, believing. So on these records that I got, they included the, um, you know, this uh, information uh, regarding my, you know, body temperature, uh, weight, uh, BMI, pulse, and things like that. But then when you get to this uh, field that says chief complaint, you know, it just reads neck pain. And that's not what I said uh, in so many words. And uh, the, the detail is, has been uh, omitted. The detail's gone. And uh, you know why. So it, it looks like this is another uh, area where these records have been edited. Okay, so here's an example of what these records should have looked like. All right, uh, and I've got a, several of these. When you go in to the doctor and you see these uh, preliminary nurses for these uh, prior screenings to seeing the main nurse or the main doctor involved, uh, this information usually shows up in the records. You can see here there's detail, and it's uh, it looks like shorthand, doesn't it? Uh, where the nurse, uh, you know, took down what I was telling them, all right? See, uh, Northside Medical Associates, St. Vincent's Primary Care, they went back and put in these records, you know, all the things that they're claiming that I didn't say. But then at the same time, uh, in these fields, uh, they just give like a word or two as to what I did say, and that is not true. They left out a lot of what I said, they left out the truth. And they did all this because they found out after uh, conferring with their business partners, St. Vincent's Hospital, Ascension Health, that uh, I had a real serious injury that they had attempted uh, to cover up. Uh, I don't know if it was initially a mistake or if it was a one, uh, one radiologist error uh, or if it was a group uh, effort. Uh, conspiracy this is against the law by the way uh what was going on but uh after they uh did these misdiagnosis on my broken skull injury uh they just kept repeating this and uh, and then all the other uh, medical people involved that i went to go see they uh piled on and would just back up and try to support uh this erroneous uh diagnosis it's medical fraud it's malpractice uh it's uh, criminal conspiracy this is a big time scam